All right. Um, now let me explain about um, how you can see whether a vector field is invariant under vertical or horizontal translation. Well, um, what it literally means, invariance under horizontal translation, for example, is the following. Um, so imagine that you, you have two copies of your vector field. So one copy is printed on, um, say, on, on the table, and another copy is printed on a transparency, and you can move it um, on, on the table. Right? So, so here, the, imagine that the blue vector field, the blue copy is printed on a transparency, and you are moving it horizontally, say, to the left. And so when you move it horizontally, then um, when you move it a little bit, then still every vector that is printed on the transparency is going to be exactly the same as the vector that is right below it on the table, even though we moved it. Or so we can move further. And again, uh, the, the after being moved, the vector field still coincides with the vector field um, with its its own copy that is printed on the table. So this is invariance under horizontal translation. And invariance under horizontal translation, it means that, well, since horizontal tr translation is changing the value of t, invariance under horizontal translation means that changing the value of t does not uh, change the right-hand side of the differential equation. So which literally means that uh, t does not appear in the right-hand side of the differential equation, and the, the right-hand side of the differential equation is, is a function of y. And uh, such differential equations are called autonomous. So invariance under vertical translations can be seen in exactly the same way. So if you have a copy of your vector field on a table and a copy on a transparency and you're moving the one on transparency, say the blue one on transparency and you're moving it vertically downward. You see all the vectors, they, they coincide with their own copies under the, the table. Or if you say move it upward, still, you know, they, when the two vector fields overlap, you, you don't see two different vectors at each point, so you see the, the same vector. Well, um, but usually, of course, a vector field is not invariant under vertical or horizontal translation. And when it is not invariant, then if you move it, say, to the try uh, moving it horizontally, then now, you know, at all of these points, you see two different vectors. So one red, the, the one that is um, printed on the table, and the, the blue one here is the one that is printed on transparency. So they, since now you, 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 you can see that they're different. Or if, say, uh, this was a horizontal translation, but vertical translation, you see again, so now you, you can see that there are two different vector fields, and they do not coincide after moving vertically. So this vector field is not invariant under vertical or horizontal, horizontal translation, which means that the right-hand side of the corresponding differential equation is a function of both t and y. Or, um, well, of course, usually you, you you cannot really print two copies of your vector field. So what you usually do is you look at um, all vectors corresponding to the same value of y. So all vectors corresponding to the same value of y are these ones. So if all of them are exactly the same for every value of y, then you have uh, invariance on the horizontal translation and the right-hand side of your differential equation is a function of just y. So th this is an autonomous differential equation. If instead, um, for every value of t, all the vectors here look the same, then you have invariance under vertical translation, and the differential equation has the right-hand side that is only dependent on t and does not depend on y. But of course, usually it's neither of, of these cases. And then if you try, say, all vectors, if you look at all vectors corresponding to the same value uh, uh, of, of y, then they're different. So the one here looks upward, the ones in the middle look downward, so here it looks upward again, so they're, they're different. Or um, if you look at 
vectors correspondent to the same value of um, of t again at least for some values of t they they're different so the, the one on top here is almost horizontal and the one the one on bottom is well, points well, more upwards so they, they, they have a different slope therefore uh, we do not have um, invariance under vertical translation so here the, the right hand side is an explicit function of both t and y